where are you going, Phil? We're just going up to the base, dig a pit, see if we can find the ropes, and then come back because it's very warm. Mm -hmm. uh, we uh, we don't want to go too far up because it hasn't consolidated, but we need to give an idea of how long it needs to consolidate. Right. So uh, we have two avalanche experts, John from Canada West. Yeah. Gordon. Gordon, you must be joking. Gordon from Fuckwitz United. Uh, both avalanche ski patrol guys. So. Uh, right. We'll get their opinion, and I'm just there to break trail. Okay. Well, fingers crossed it's looking safe then. Yeah, I think it needs a couple more days to be 100% safe, but uh, yeah. we're going to go and get a little bit of an idea now. Okay, so we've come back up to um, Camp 1 for the third time uh, after the period of bad weather. Phil and Gordon and a chap, um, an avalanche expert, are going there to assess the conditions on the slope and maybe to pull, pull out the fixed ropes. We've really just come up here for, for a bit of exercise. We're going to go back down again. Um, as you can see, our tents are covered in about it's about a metre of snow up here at Camp 1. Um, Ian, I think, is going to make us some, some tea. Yeah, what do you want? Uh, whatever you're making, thanks, Ian. Where's your cup? Uh, we're going to get it in a sec. Yep, so, so, as you see, we need to dig the tents out a little bit because they're a bit snowed in. And we obviously we obviously leave that job to the to the youngest person. So um, so Michael here has kindly volunteered to um, dig all five tents out. Is that right, Michael? Yeah. Well, that's um, right. more more likely than not, I'll uh, do mine and then uh, sack it off. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Youth of today, eh? Um, but it's actually the best weather we've had at camp, so we got we can actually see a clear view of G1 for the first time. So yeah, it's the best view we've had of the Gashibrom Coombe. So yeah, we're glad we came up because, like I say, it's just for a just for a, for a quick bit of exercise, really. Um, and it's looking good, and we're keeping our fingers crossed that this weather holds for a few days, give us a chance to. Um, head up there. So we're uh, back at Camp 1 in the Gashabrum Coombe for the fourth time and on our summit push and unfortunately it's not looking good. It's fairly tranquil down here but David Hamilton has just come on the radio and said who's at Camp 2 and said it's going to be tricky to get to Camp 3 and dangerous to go beyond and if you look that's Gashabrum 4 if you look at the clouds on the summit and here's G2 and as you can see there's if you look at the shoulder up there it's about a thousand meters above us and that's roughly where camp 3 is and there's some fairly fierce looking clouds sweeping across So here's the trail between Camp 1 and Camp 2, and the banana ridge is up there with a few figures on it. It's the banana ridge, there's Michael just above me, and loads of people above him going very very slowly, knocking bits of ice down. And the ridge goes up to it's about 200 metres up to the campsite, it's just behind the rock face. It's a case of take two or three paces and then stop for a breather. The Banana Ridge, Ian, Michael, and Hi. Arian. Hello, 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 hello. Nice gentle traverse, and then we drop to Camp 2. That's Gashabun 3 and the summit up there. And I'm just going to try and swing without dropping my camera. Yeah. Gashabun 1. 
It would go down like a thousand meters. And there is the banana ridge with some people coming up. And the glacier. Do you have a good stand? Uh, Michael, how's it feel? Good. Yeah, Back at camp that's too. one of the best things we've ever done, again. Can just it's brilliant to have that good weather. And I'm hoping that I won't uh, start vomiting in uh, an hour's time. No, but at the moment I feel uh, pretty good. Excellent, excellent. Well, I hope you don't vomit as well if I'm sharing a tent with you. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so we're at camp two, simply sitting around waiting. We'd been hoping to go up to camp three today, but there's been quite a lot of snow. Um, and the trail up there, there's, there's a couple of guys at the top trying to break the trail up there, really, really struggling. Um, and further up to camp three, it's very, very windy, so it looks like we're going to have to retreat, but we're just hanging on for a, for a while before we make that decision. So everybody's coming off the mountain now. This is the Jagged Globe team descending from their camp too. So here we are on our fifth solving time through the icefall. There's Arian, he's leading the way. And there's still wind! There's G4, G3, G2, quite a lot of wind. Uh, G1. And Michael and Gorgon behind on the rope. We just stopped for a quick breather. I'm looking down there to base camp and Baltoro Kangri. So we're in the Gashabrum Coombe again. And as you can see, it's very windy up there. There's a lot of cloud going past very quickly. It's G3 and G2. <coughs> and G1 there. Um, for the last week or two it's been very very cloudy and very very windy but we decided to go for it anyway. Um, fingers crossed, we'll see what happens. So what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Michael is the hero of the day. He just went down in the garage to pick up the trash of the Iranian that they dropped yesterday. Okay. And the, so you'll be carrying it down for them tomorrow, will you? Yes. <laughs> I'm going to carry it down. Right. So is it deep in there, Michael? Sorry? Was it deep in there? Yeah, fair. It's like seven or eight metres down. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, it just bottoms out. Right. Maybe there's a, it's there's like a bridge. bridge underneath. But yeah. Yeah, it's alright. <coughs> yeah. Anything else down there? Absolutely nothing. Any corpse? No. No, that's type of eye on the mouth. <laughs> yes. So, here we are, back at base camp, after our second summit push on Gashbrum 2 was cut short rather pathetically at um, Camp 1. Uh, tragically, a, a Spanish climber died up there after becoming stranded above Camp 4. Uh, two days of whiteout conditions prevented any sort of rescue attempt and, and we actually retreated uh, when it became clear the slopes above Camp 2 were dangerously avalanche prone. The main achievement of the last trip was Michael and Arian fishing some rubbish out of a crevasse which had been dumped there by the Iranian team um, and then taking it back down to base camp and giving it back to them. We're now switching our attention to this mountain here, Gashabrum 1. Um, it's steeper and less avalanche prone, consequently, than Gashabrum 2. But as you can see, it's still, still horrible up there, very cloudy, um, very windy. Uh, time's running out for us now, so um, whether we get a decent, a decent weather window to climb it, I, I don't know.